Hi, my name is Zakaron, and welcome to my video and podcast, The Hero's Journey, Part 1. So this is going to be a three-part series. So The Hero's Journey, Part 1, to be a victim or to be empowered? That is the question. Bum, 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 bum. Life is a hero's journey because every day, every single person on earth is given the choice to be, dis- to be a disempowered victim or be a self-empowered champion. Every day you are given the choice to follow your own heart and your own truth or be a good little boy or girl and do as you are told. Every day you are given the choice to repress and deny your dreams and your desires for happiness, wealth, creativity, and freedom, etc. in favor of acting in ways that favor everyone else's happiness over your own happiness. Or the choice to take the seemingly more dangerous hero's path where you choose your own dreams and desires and your own happiness over the happiness of others because you understand that it is not that it is not your job to make other people happy that is their job and it is it is only your job to make yourself happy to be or not to be that is the question whether it is nobler to act in certain ways to continue to receive the conditional love that we value so much from others because of our lack of self-esteem by doing things that make them happy or whether it is nobler to suffer the slings and arrows of the withdrawal of this conditional love in favor of our own power and happiness and find the unconditional love that is always there for us from source. That is not dependent upon our actions. Hey, that is the rub. That is the question. So I hope you enjoy my video and podcast. I promise I won't act like a Shakespearean actor through the entire video. So who am I? My name is Zakarin and I help success-minded people create the happy, abundant lifestyle you love. In my videos, podcasts, articles, books, seminars, and sessions, I reveal the master keys of success, business, money, leadership, relationship, and law of attraction to empower you to create and attract to yourself the happiness, health, wealth, and abundance and freedom that you desire. If you like this video or the podcast, please comment and share it with your friends. Bless them with these amazing teachings. Come visit me at zakiron.com for an amazing array of supportive guidance and goodies to help you become a conscious, deliberate creator of divine reality. And go get yourself a free copy of my book, video, and audio series, The Master Keys of Success and Freedom, to help you create more fun, money, and freedom in your life at ilovefreedom.info. Oh, sorry, freekeysofsuccess.info. That's free keys of success thought info all right here we go the hero's journey to be or not to be to be a victim or to be empowered to be or not to be that is the question this classic shakespearean line from hamlet is the choice that every single person on earth is always confronted with on a daily and even moment to moment basis and the choice is always to be a victim or to be empowered. The choice is always to follow my own truth and knowing about what is right for me, what feels good for me, or to succumb to social pressures and instead of pleasing myself and doing what's best for me, choose the most frequently trodden path of pleasing others instead of often at the expense of my own happiness and my own dreams. We have seen this personal choice and quest in countless books and movies and plays, and of course in the classic Hamlet, for thousands of years. It is the hero's journey, where our hero is given a vision, where he or she has a dream and is always confronted with an insurmountable foe that he or she must vanquish in order 
for our hero to achieve his or her dream. There is, you know, on the hero's quest, there is the outer quest, the goal or dream to accomplish. But more importantly, there is the inner quest. And that journey is the spiritual quest. And this is the bit, much bigger battle, as it were, that our hero must fight within in order to have the courage to win the external battle. The only way you can win the external battle to achieve your desires and your dreams is to win the internal battle. And that inner quest, that inner challenge is always the choice of self-empowerment and following your own inner guidance, which is more often than not contrary to what everyone around them or you is saying, contrary to what everyone around them wants from them as well. Most people are sheep and look to other sheep for guidance and agreement as the safest choice because they don't know how to guide themselves. But our hero knows that the safest choice is not the choice with the most rewards. The safest choice may make everyone else happy, but it does not make our hero happy. Repressing and denying one's own dreams has a very high price. And that price is regret and guilt and shame because you did not pursue your dream. You did not step into your power of creation. And dreams unpursued haunt you until death. Until you and your dreams doth part. And there's nothing worse than dying with regret. The hero's choice is, listen to my own heart, my own guidance, my own dreams, and do what I know is best for me, and what feels is the most exciting and empowering choice. In other words, to please myself. Or, do whatever one else wants, so that I will please them. And interestingly enough, the former choice always turns out to be the, the best choice for everyone. Because the choice to follow your own dreams improves the, you, your own life, the life for you, and influences others to also follow in your own footsteps to achieve their own dreams. Whereas the latter coward's choice of choosing to please everyone else over your own dreams and desires serves only to maintain the status quo and keep everybody happy so they're not angry with you and they don't withdraw their conditional love for you. And even though most people want our hero to be a coward and relent and admit defeat and to fail, that is only because misery loves company. And the masses want the heroes to fail so that they feel good about themselves, or really, so that they don't feel bad about themselves because they're cowards. <clears throat> so they, they, they want the hero to fail so that they feel good about themselves by making the coward's choice and playing it safe and not risking failure. We admire the heroes who do great things because we all are creators here to create our dreams into physical reality. And we all have unlimited dreams that we all long to create. But our fears of loss of social esteem from our peers and lovers and family is great because everyone wants to be loved. We feel like we've lost love because we have a tendency to have cut ourselves off from source, even though the love of the source never goes away. So, our fears of failure are great for similar reasons, because of fear of loss of love and approval and admiration from our friends, family, and lovers. We don't want to hear them say, I told you so. So most people do not pursue their dreams so that they never have to deal with that loss of approval and ultimately loss of love from their social family or the ridicule that they receive from people that they supposedly love and supposedly love them. We all want unity for, 
we all want unity for everyone to think and act the same way as us. But because we are all unique, empowered creators with the power to create anything <clears throat> we desire, and that is the reason we are all here on Earth, we also admire even more passionately the heroes who break away from the socially agreed upon, proper, approved mode of acting. <clears throat> we love and adore the heroes of art and music and acting and books and speaking and sports and film and music, etc., who follow their own dreams and passions, for we are all secretly wanting to do the same things in our lives to pursue our own dreams. We admire the cool guy or the radical girl who does whatever they want who don't care what we think about them. We admire the selfish, quote-unquote, selfish person who is more concerned with their own happiness because we desire to be the same way and not care what other, think, other people think about us. But because most people's dreams have been knocked down and kicked and stomped on by their friends and families and lovers, and because the dreams they pursued didn't turn out as they desired, and many of the dreams they pursued became epic failures, or their success was sabotaged in some way by themselves or others, we also are quick to find faults in our heroes, and we love to tear them down from their lofty pedestal. And the heroes we love the most are the ones who admit their faults, who admit their inner struggles, who admit their addictions and their torrid history, because we can all relate, and it gives us all hope that we can also make our own dreams come true. Some people, they focus solely upon a hero's faults to justify not pursuing their own dreams, citing ignorant statements such as, See, getting rich makes you miserable. But that is a ludicrous, ignorant summation to arrive at about our hero's journey. Because it is never anything in the outside world that ever makes anyone unhappy. It is always the inner world. One's own thoughts and beliefs and perceptions about themselves especially. And for those heroes who have mastered the inner quest, who have finally arrived at great levels of clarity and awareness that fame did not give them, self-worth and success and wealth did not externally thrust worthiness and self-empowerment and awareness and self-esteem upon them. They had to find that within, regardless of their success, wealth, and fame. The most successful people on earth are the ones who are the happiest and who understand their, that their massive self-worth regard, is regardless of their success and fame. And those people who have achieved external success and external worth who are valued greatly by others, but who still have not learned to value themselves. They are the ones who kill themselves quickly or kill themselves slowly over time through self-abuse and self-loathing and alcoholism and drug abuse, etc. But it is a faulty premise that, quote, success or wealth or fame, unquote, causes unhappiness. That is just a lie taught by the people who are afraid to pursue their own dreams of wealth and success and fame. Those people who preach that wealth and success and the pursuit of wealth and success is somehow wrong or sinful or corrupt are those people who are afraid of their own priceless inner wealth and their own power to create whatever they want. They're not afraid of becoming corrupt. They're afraid of their own power of creation. The power that is always calling to them. The power of God that is calling to them. The power of source that is calling to them. Their dreams are always calling to them. 
And it hurts to think about their dreams. It hates to think about your dreams when you are not pursuing them. Or when you don't believe you can get them. And people want to feel good. And it feels better to judge others to try to prove... <clears throat> it feels better to try to... Uh, people want to feel good and it feels better to judge others and try to lower them in status to inflate your own status because anger, judgment, and condemnation feels better than depression and regret and feelings of unworthiness and helplessness and powerlessness. <clears throat> Every single person on earth is here to create wonderful and amazing things. Everyone has dreams. And those people who are pursuing those dreams, even if they do not, ha do not have those dreams yet, those are the happiest people on earth. And the people who are working hard to repress and deny their dreams, those are the most miserable, depressed, and angry people on earth. And the rule book that everyone was given when they first came to earth only had one sentence on it that said, follow your heart. Or, in the immortal words of the great William Shakespeare, to thine own self be true. So, young Jedi Knight, Immortal, unlimited creator of reality that you truly are. What will be your choice? Will you choose the coward's journey and do as the other sheeple decree in order to keep them all happy and to maintain their con conditional, fleeting, fickle love and approval coming your way? Will, you focus in will your focus in life be to work hard 24-7 at making sure everyone around you is happy at the expense of your own happiness and your own hopes and dreams? Or will you say, quote, the most beneficial influence I have to ensure everyone else's happiness and well-being is to follow my own heart to follow my own dreams. And then I am a powerful, influential force to show others that true happiness is when they follow their own dreams. The most powerful influence is to show people that nothing and no one can keep me from making my dreams come true, except me. And I formally release all humans and all beings, and all creatures, and all life, from my demands and beliefs that it is your job to please me and make me happy. And I formally release myself from the demands and beliefs that it is my job to please others and make them happy. Now, we're all free to create anything we want in our lives. Yay! We're all free! Yay! We're all free to now create whatever we want because we have released all the demands upon each other. Yay! And we're all free to be 100% responsible for our own happiness and the creation of our own dreams without any demands and beliefs that it is other people's jobs to help make my dreams come true. It's my job to make my dreams come true. No one else's. And I formally acknowledge that it is only my job to make my dreams come true. And I am completely empowered to do so. And the entire universe is unconditionally poised and ready to help me accomplish my, my hero's journey of creation and creating my dreams into physical reality. My source always has my back. God always has my back. Source, God, all that is, 100% wants all my dreams to come true and is helping me to accomplish my dreams 24-7. So... Hamlets and Ophelias. The question you will always be asking yourself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis as you go on your hero's quest is to be or not to be. Whether it is nobler to just keep my, your head down and do as the other sheep will tell you or to take arms against a sea of troubles and essentially oppose societal pressure 
to please them over yourself and suffer their wrath and the withdrawal of their love that you have valued so greatly for your own happiness? Ah, that is the question. So, what will be your choice? Be a sheeple? Be a helpless, disempowered victim who blames everyone and everything else for your misfortune? Or will you take the proverbial bull, bull by the horns and accept your outrageous, unlimited fortune and power and create the life of your dreams? The coward's choice may seem like the right choice and may seem normal, but it will never feel natural and it will never feel good. Whereas the hero's choice will feel scary, but it's the good kind of scary. It's the exciting kind of scary. It's the roller coaster kind of scary. It's the exciting, mysterious, unlimited possibilities kind of scary. So, be a hero. Be afraid. And do it anyway. Be afraid, but follow your dreams anyway. That is the mark of courage. And that is the mark of the hero. So be the hero that you truly are and make your dreams come true. Now, empowered dreamer and creator of divine reality, let me help and support you to make your dreams come true. Because I have been where you are and I have already cut a pathway through the jungle. And together, if we lock arms and work and play together and we, and we can help you create more money and freedom and fun and travel and adventure and help you manifest your dreams into physical reality. And I know you have worked hard and you've sacrificed and you've struggled and maybe even quote-unquote failed, but at least you tried. At least you got off your bloody ass and did something. And your failure, your failure is not your fault. You just haven't received the support you needed to succeed. You were trained away from your power. You were trained by society to be a sheeple, not a hero. You were taught to work hard to help other people make their dreams come true, but not your own. But it's, not, it, it's now your time. The time is now for you. It's time for your happiness. It's time for your success. It's time for your wealth. You're not here on your own. I'm here to support you. Your source is here to support you. I'm here to help you make your dreams come true. And I have the platform to help you make that happen. So if you've had enough of everyone else telling you what to do, and you're ready for a life of sovereignty, a life of wealth, a life of freedom, a life where you decide you're going to do what you want, and you're going to do, do whatever you want, whatever you want it, <clears throat> Then contact me now at ilovefreedom.info. I'll show you a quick video or a very short webinar about how you can get yourself on the road to freedom. That's ilovefreedom.info. Thanks for watching this video or listening to this podcast. My name is Zachiron, and uh, I help success-minded people create the happy, abundant lifestyle you love. Please check out my self-empowering goodies to help you become an awesome master of divine creation at zachiron.com. Go get yourself a copy of my free book and video series, The Master Keys of Success and Freedom at freekeysofsuccess.info. Thanks again for watching my video and listening to this podcast. And I wish you immense joy and abundance and adventure and love and excitement and sex and fun and more fun and more fun and more fun on your magnificent journey of divine creation. And remember always to make life a holiday. Woohoo!